Hello everyone, Emily here. Welcome to my channel. I really appreciate everyone who stops and I want to thank everyone who subscribed. I really appreciate it. Over a thousand subscribers now and I am just tickled to death. If one person finds something great out of what I'm showing you, I'm very happy and I really love doing this. Now this is a blanket that I pulled out that has been put away for probably, oh my gosh, two years. So, um, we have some baby girls in the family, and I started this one for my granddaughter, um, and she didn't come out a boy, and my daughter-in-law is pregnant again. They told her it's a girl, so, um, I think she will be the last grandchild, so I've decided that, um, I'm gonna make, finish this now, and I'm gonna give it to my son's teacher because she's having a boy. And um, I did a, do a tutorial on the granny square blanket that my daughter made for her. And my daughter said when she went to parent conference that she almost cried. She was so thankful for the blanket. She thought it was such a great gift. And um, she said no one's ever made her a baby blanket. It's her first baby. No one has made her a baby blanket. And so um, my daughter said, you know what, Mom, it'd be really nice if maybe if you wanted to make her one. And I said, yeah, I got one. I'll get it out it's blue and white so this is kind of like a, a, a shell stitch and so it's been put away for a year I did just wash it and uh, dried it and I'm gonna finish it and then uh, my daughter's gonna wash it again and use some good smelly stuff so it smells really nice and, and uh, good when she gives it to her because I have had it put up for a year um, so you can see here that it is a repeat row. I made a chain how long I wanted it. And then what I did is I skipped two in between. Okay. Let's see here. Maybe we better start from the beginning. I started at the beginning and I, uh, um, the, this chain three was my first double crochet. I did two more double crochets in the same stitch. I chained one and then I did another single crochet in the same stitch. Then I skipped two, did two double crochets in the next stitch, chained one, and did a single crochet. Now the reason that I did, there's three here, is because I wanted these nice little puffies on the end, okay? So the end is the only time you'll have your chain three and then two double crochets. So, on the first, on the first row, I did skip two in between each one. So on that first row, you're going to do the, uh, the skip two. Skip two of that chain, do two double crochets, chain one and a single crochet. Then just go keep going. And then when you get to the second row, you're going to chain three, okay, you're going to chain three, well, you know what, let's just go up here, because I am still finishing it and working on it. Turn this over, I have a pattern going here, so I have lots of blue, a little stripe of white, a little stripe of blue, big stripe of white, and a big stripe of blue. And this is my middle, so now I'll start doing this again. And that's my pattern for this blanket. So, and it's always crazy to take something out after a year <laughs> and try to remember what you did and take this out. Okay, so I'm here at the last one. Now I'm always gonna go into this chain one space 
because remember the ends are always going to have that chain two, two double crochets, chain one, and a single crochet. And then when you come back this way, you go into that chain one spot. So I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to do my two double crochets. I'm going to chain one. And I am using Bernat Baby Blanket, so it's nice and thin. And my, I'm using a 4.0. So this is a nice small stitch. And then we're just going to go into that same stitch and do our single crochet. Okay. And that's how I went all the way across. Now we're here at the end, so we're going to chain two, and that's going to be like a, a double crochet. And like I said at the end here, I decided I wanted three because I like that little puff. So we're going to open it up here. Here's our two double crochets, the chain one and the single crochet. So you're just going to find that area, that single crochet, and you're going to do two single crochets in there. Now you have like a total of three, counting that chain two. Oops, finish that. I'm going to chain one, and then I'm going to go into that same stitch, and I'm going to do a single crochet. Done. That's my repeat. My whole blanket is this repeat. So I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to go into that opening right there, where that chain one is. I'm going to do my two double crochets. It's almost like a cell, a shell stitch, I want to say. I'm going to chain one, and I'm going to do a single crochet in there. These stitches are really nice and little, so it might take me a while to get this finished, but I'll tell you, it's well worth it because this baby blanket is, it's soft. Is that Bernat baby? I'm going to see, where is that? I tore it off. I'd use so much of it. Bernat Baby Sport. And so the white and the blue are the exact same. And they were huge. This is huge. So I might have enough left over maybe to make some booties. So here we are. We're going to look for that chain one. Yarn over and go in there. Yarn over and go in there. I'm going to chain one and do a single crochet. And once you start going along, it moves pretty quickly. I really like the look of this stitch. You could use any yarn to do this. I believe my grandma made me and my sister blankets out of this stitch and uh, unfortunately when I was a child we had um, a house fire and so I, I lost that blanket and my grandma never made me another one but uh, before she passed she stayed with me and we worked on quilts together and we worked on crocheted blankets um, she was 89, so she could not crochet, but she could make uh, chains. And uh, I would buy skeins of yarn and bring them home. And she would put them in a ball. She loved putting them in a ball. And then after she put them all in a ball, she would make a long chain. I would take the chain and crochet the chain. And it would make a really thick blanket and uh, so that's what we did and I mean it was a race if I bought that woman three skeins of yarn when I got home from work they were all in balls so it was kind of funny how it was a race to see if she would have it all done before I got home and uh, she could chain a chain so quickly and she would be just like you're cro you crochet fast, Emily, but you just can't keep up with me. <laughs> Her name was Emily. 
aunt too. I'm Emily and she's Emily. But it was so funny because that was that was our thing. That's what we did. And uh, it was just fun, but it was so crazy. So sometimes we'd have to go out and I would buy 10 skeins of yarn on a Friday. So she would be busy all weekend. We wouldn't have to go out. But um, just good memories. And I hope, I hope a lot of you have, have good memories also. I'd love to hear any memories that you have. My memory is all of my grandma when I knit or crochet. And um, also my grandkids because I'm going to make my grandson a hat. I'm getting ready to make them their hats for school. My daughter made a comment that I always make them crazy hats. And so uh, I'm going to be getting ready to do that. And uh, they just, they love stuff when I make it for them. You know, the young ones, they always just love it. And uh, my granddaughter, who's 11, I don't know if she'll be wearing anything I make because she's just, she might just be too cool for that. So I'm trying to think of something really uh, nice that will look store-bought because, you know, she's kind of popular and stuff. And we, you know, I guess if she wanted to, she could start a new trend, but... Anyway, I'm just gabbing along, and I appreciate you watching. But as you watch me do this, you can just see how simple this is and how beautiful this baby blanket is. This would just be such a great gift at a baby shower. Um, you could do any colors. You could put some appliques on here. It's just gorgeous. I'm not going to put a border on it because, like I said, I really like this here. I like this. And the top, it's not, you know, it's not as big as right here. But I don't think I'm going to put a border on it at all. So, but um, I don't have a written pattern. But if you have any questions, please let me know. Please just give me a comment if you liked it, if you didn't like it. Um, because I'm been doing these videos for a little bit but I gotta tell you I just I see other people I don't want to do like other people's videos but I just really enjoy sometimes just listening to people talk because I um, am stuck at home a lot and I love to turn on YouTube every day and I like to see something um, new or I like to just watch people go through homes um, yeah, I like the scary videos, and um, I love Jasco, and Angel exploring with Angelo, he's like my favorite, and uh, Bailey Syrian telling her stories, oh, and Ten to Life, Ten to Life, she seems to be on there doing videos um, that I really enjoy almost every day, and so I really enjoy that. So I try to do videos when I can because I feel like sharing is the only way, you know, you're going to get, that you guys will get to know me. Anyway, I'm going to stop jabbering. I'm going to keep working on this blanket. I hope you all have a great day. And I also, oh. I saw Crystal's video today, and she was talking about vintage um, crochet hooks, uh, bag o' day, and uh, that was a really good segment. I really enjoyed that, because then, of course, I had to get all my crochet hooks out to see if I had any vintage ones, and um, my grandma's favorite crochet hook, uh, I gave it to my daughter, uh, her favorite crochet hooks. I think there's like two that she used all the time and I gave them to my daughter. I don't know if they were vintage but um, I found that I had two vintage ones. So I was actually pretty excited that I learned that and found two. So um, yeah I just I appreciate everybody that's out there that does videos because when I was really ill and sick uh, that's when I discovered YouTube. I'd never watched it before until I got COVID in um, August, 
2021. Never saw YouTube before in my life. And um, it just opened my eyes. I just don't know how I lived without it. <laughs> because these tutorials are awesome. And, um, and that's why I wanted to start making them. Because they just made such a difference in my life. I, I didn't feel so lonely in my home. And um, so I think I've shared enough. So I hope you enjoyed my chitter chatter. I hope you love this blanket. It is very pretty. And um, I'm sure she's just really going to enjoy it for her new baby. So you guys have a great day. Stay safe out there. Keep on crocheting and enjoy your weekend. Bye.